before you start this project, you should watch the uh, uh, video on landscapes and landscape design. <clears throat> now, this is difficult because um, I am going to be talking about things in that foreground, middle ground, background, and things like that, which is why I wanted you to watch that. However, I want you to forget some of the things that I have said there. Uh, because the landscapes that you're going to be doing <clears throat> are more decorative. And they're going to be based on symmetry. So while I still want things to overlap that are in the front and, and overlap things that are in the back, I also want uh, images to be bigger the closer they are and then get smaller the further away they get. The fact is that some of the things that make up a good landscape aren't necessarily going to apply here because I am looking for more horizontal lines and parallel lines uh, than I would be in the other projects. So let's start by sketching out what we're going to want to do for our project. I happen to be using a marker so that you can see it well on camera. I do not want you to use a marker. I think that you should do this in pencil. It's easier to correct your mistakes. But um, just a few of the differences that I was talking about. In the other project, okay, uh, like with, with landscapes, I told you I want like a lot of parallel and overlapping lines. Now that doesn't mean that you don't have to do this. However, I want your project to be symmetrical. Now, I'm going to show you an example of um, a Roger Brown painting right here. That this one is more symmetrical. As you can see, the left and the right side are pretty equal. Do they have to be perfectly equal? Absolutely not. But you can also see that there's a lot of horizontal lines. That there are um, uh, there are still things overlapping each other, but they're not. It's not as um, realistic looking as we would want. This, I, I'm going to say it again, this one is more of a decorative landscape than one that is realistic, meaning you uh, are going to make it look more uh, like, uh, not cartoonish, but uh, more illustrated. It's more uh, based in the art world than it is in the reality world. So going back to this, you can see I've got, this one be a little bit, so we've got a tree over here some trees over here. What I would do with the uh, ones that we're going to be doing is we're going to be maybe making it more like this. So there's still like a foreground, middle ground, background. Maybe I'll put like a tree over here. But they are going to have to be symmetrical. So whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So if I put a tree over here, I have to make that identical tree over here. If I put a mountain over here, I have to put a mountain over here. This is going to be a left-right symmetrical. So the left side is going to be the exact same as the right side. So when you are sketching these out, think about how are you going to make the left side and the right side look identical while still getting a foreground, middle ground, and background. So let's sketch a few of these out. Now, you don't have to go... Uh, horizontally, you can go vertically if you'd like. You're going to be using a uh, piece of paper that is, uh, I believe, 12 by 18. So uh, that's going to make it uh, a little bit different. Um, it, it's not going to be as like skinny, so it'll be kind of more of a regular sheet of paper. So let's just do a few of them here. I'll do... Um, an up and down one here. Maybe I'll do another up and down one. And then maybe I'll do a left or right or a horizontal one. So I've got two verticals and one horizontal. Like you don't have to do this if you already have an idea on what you want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, whatever I do to one side, so I'm just going to kind of make a dashed line down the center here so that I make sure Whatever I do to one side of this picture, I am doing to the other side. They have to be symmetrical. 
So let's just start this out. Um, maybe this one I'll do like a cityscape. So over here I'm going to do, you know, just uh, then I'll make sure that my vanishing point's right there. So there's my vanishing point. So I've got um, a building right here. You know, put you know, just a few. So now the one that I'm going to make over here has to be identical. So this side and this side are exactly the same. Um, then maybe I'll put like another one over here. So now I'm going to put like another one back here. So now I've got my cityscape. Okay. Everything I did on the left side is the same as it is on the right side. All right. So now let's do a little bit more of a uh, landscape that's landscape based. So let's see, uh, maybe here I'm going to have, up in the front, I'll have a tree. So notice, whatever I did to the left side, I'm doing to the right side. So whatever I did to the left side here, I did to the right side. These two are equal. All right, now let's do one last one. Um, maybe, let's see, I'll do just like an oceanscape here. So whatever I did to the left side, I did to the right side. Now I'm just going to look at these and decide which one I like the best. I'm not a big fan of this one. Um, I would say it's between these two. I think the one that I'm going to go with is I'm going to go with this one. So uh, that's the one that I'm going to continue with. That's the one I'm going to make my sketch of. That's the one that we're going to uh, uh, show as my example. So. We're going to move on to the next step, uh, which is you're going to have to start uh, enlarging this drawing onto a bigger piece of paper.